Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's negative headlines in recent weeks have been the focus of the podcast hosts Christina Garibaldi and Christine Ross' latest Royally U.S. episode. The Royally U.S. pair expressed concern on how the recent press scrutiny of the Sussexes may be distracting for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry as the couple look to launch their charity work. Nasty stories keep coming out of the woodwork, warned host Ms. Ross as the Royal Watcher discussed the couple's latest run of negative headlines. Host Garibaldi told Royal Yes, I mean it's not a good look for the Sussexes it really isn't. I mean, for one couple to have so much bad press is not good. There's a lot of bad stories out there, so tough for them because you know they are trying to do good work. They're trying to do important things, added Ms. Ross. But these really kind of nasty stories keep coming out of the woodwork and I'm sure it's very distracting from the work that they are trying to get done. It comes as Meghan and Harry have been hit by a string of negative stories based on claims made from their time as working royals. This week, a royal author claimed that Meghan had struggled with her dress on the day of her wedding after a military escort she had allegedly been rude to refuse to help her. Speaking on an episode of the Mirror's Pod Save the Queen podcast, Mr. Bauer claimed, a military man told me an extraordinary story about Meghan when she arrived at the wedding at Windsor Castle on that glorious day in 2018. You see her get out of the car unaccompanied and she has problems with the train of her dress and the army officer doesn't step forward to help her. And the reason is, is the day before in the rehearsal, she had been very rude to him so he thought well I'm not going to help you today. I didn't get the story from him but a fellow officer of his, who explained what had happened, meanwhile US Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito took him at Prince Harry over the Duke of Sussex intervention in the Woe v Wade abortion debate in a speech to the United Nations last month. Justice Alito brushed off criticism from the royal as well as other prominent world leaders since he ruled in favor of overturning the landmark American 1973 abortion rights decision. Justice Alito told a University of Notre Dame Law School hosted event in Rome on July 24, What really wounded me, what really wounded me? Was when the Duke of Sussex addressed the United Nations and seemed to compare the decision, whose name may not be spoken, with the Russian attack on Ukraine. I had the honor this term of writing I think the only Supreme Court decision in the history of that institution that has been lambasted by a whole string of foreign leaders who felt perfectly fine commenting on American law, he added. One of these was former Prime Minister Boris Johnson, but he paid the price, Alito joked, referring to Johnson's plans to step down following criticism of his leadership from within Britain's ruling Conservative Party, 